Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and the UAE President and Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, attended the final stage of the joint Bahraini Emirati counter terrorism exercise, Jinmud 3. Within the participation of the BDF's Royal Guard and a number of weapons, the Ministry of Interior, the National Intelligence Service, with the UAE's Armed Forces held in Bahrain for several days within the framework of joint historic brotherly cooperation between the two countries. His Majesty the King welcomed the UAE President President and thanked him for attending the exercise. Upon arrival, His Majesty and His Highness were received by BDF Commander Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander, and Commander of the Exercise, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Royal Guard Special Force Commander, Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and senior invitees. At the beginning of the exercise, a memorandum of military cooperation in the fight against terrorism was signed between the two countries by Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser and the UAE's Deputy. Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces and General Engineer Isa Saif bin Ablan al mazrui His Majesty the King and the UAE President congratulated the signing of the memorandum, which aims to enhance bilateral military cooperation. The National Security Advisor then delivered a speech on the occasion in which he affirmed that it is a great honor that the Bahraini and Emirati military and security forces that are conducting the counter-terrorism drill, Jalmud III, witness the presence of His Majesty the King and the President of the UAE and that their presence is a source of pride for the affiliates of the military and security forces. His Highness highlighted the heroic deeds of the Emirati, Saudi and Bahraini heroes in defense of the religion, the land and the region against extremist terrorist groups for which the Arab coalition forces are ready. His Highness noted the directives of His Majesty the King and the UAE President and their keenness on bolstering continuous military and security cooperation between the two countries and the development of military readiness to face potential dangers in the region and the global challenges in combating terrorism. His Highness stated that plans have been developed for the Bahraini-UAE joint counter-terrorism drill, Jinmud 3, to confront the reality and challenges of the terrorism, the means to combat it within the highest standards and at all levels, as the drill is considered the first at the national level in which all forces participate, which reflects the measures taken and the efforts made for the forces to be able to defend and protect national interests. His Highness added that the drill is in the region's interest of security, stability and peace, and enhances the plans that are developed to face regional dangers to be and turn to those who threaten the security of the region with readiness and sacrifice to protect it and maintain its security and advancement. مرحبا بكم سادتي الكرام في هذه البقعة الجميلة من مملكة البحرين الحبيبة حيث تشملون برعايتكم الكريمة حفظكم الله ختام تمرين مكافحة الإرهاب البحريني الإمارات المشترك جلمود ثلاثة سادتي الكرام أيها الحفل الكريم الآن الكلمة لسيد اللواء الركن سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة مستشار الأمن الوطني قائد الحرس الملكي مدير التمرين فليتفضل مشكورا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك المعظم القائد الأعلى للقوات المسلحة حفظكم الله ورعاكم سيدي صاحب السمو رئيس دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة الشقيقة القائد الأعلى للقوات المسلحة حفظكم الله ورعاكم أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة الأخوة العسكريين والأمنيين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إنه لشرف عظيم وكبير أن تحظى قواتنا العسكرية والأمنية البحرينية والإماراتية التي تقوم بتنفيذ تمرين مكافحة الإرهاب جلمود ثلاثة في هذا اليوم المبارك بحضور سيدي صاحب الجلالة الملك المعظم وأخيه سمو رئيس دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة الشقيقة وأن تشريفكم لنا في هذا الميدان بين رجالكم لهو وسام شرف وعزة لأبنائكم وأخوانكم منسوبي قواتنا العسكرية والأمنية 
وتتويجا لمعاني الترابط واستكمالا لمسيره الاباء والاجداد في وحده الدم والدين والمصير الواحد على مر التاريخ سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة المعظم سيدي صاحب السمو رئيس دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة لقد تجسدت أروع الملاحم البطولية حين اختلطت دماء أبطالنا الإماراتيين والسعوديين والبحرينيين دفاعا عن الدين والأرض وعن عروبة منطقتنا ضد الجماعات الإرهابية المتطرفة المدعومة والتي لا تزال قوات التحالف العربي تقف لهم بالمرصاد وبكل حزم وقوة ولقد كان لتوجيهاتكم وحرصكم الدائم على تعزيز التعاون العسكري والأمني المستمر بين الأشقاء في كل البلدين والارتقاء في مستوى الجاهزية العسكرية على أكمل وجه وبما يعزز العمل في مواجهة المخاطر المحتملة التي تواجه منطقتنا العربية على وجه الخصوص وبما يشهده العالم من تحديات في مواجهة الإرهاب على وجه العموم على ضوء ذلك تم وضع الخطط لتمرين مكافحة الإرهاب البحرينية الإماراتية المشترك جلمود ثلاثة في كيفية مجابهة واقع وتحديات الإرهاب وطرق مكافحته ضمن أعلى المعايير وعلى كافة المستويات الاستراتيجية والعملياتية والتعبوية حيث يعتبر هذا التمرين الأول على المستوى الوطني تشارك فيه جميع القوات العسكرية والأمنية والإدارات المعنية كل في كل البلدين وبما يوضح التدابير المتخذة ويترجم الجهود كما أن هذا التمرين يصب في مصلحة الأمن والاستقرار والسلام في منطقتنا ويعزز الخطط في مواجهة المخاطر التي تواجه دولتنا وليكون رادعا لكل من تسول له نفسه بالمساس بأمن دولتنا وسوف نكون لهم السد المنيع ونضربهم بكل عزم وحزم ونقدم دماءنا وأرواحنا فداء في سبيل رفعة وعزة أمن بلدنا وندعو الله جلت قدرته بأن يحفظكم ويديم ملككم وأن تبقى بلداننا واحة للأمن والأمان ومنارة للسلم والتسامح والاستقرار وأن لا تجد هذه الجماعات الإرهابية موطئ قدما لها على أراضينا لو تنشد التاريخ قال محمد ثبت على صدر الزمن بنيانه يكفيه فخر انه سمي محمد شفيعنا يوم الحشر واكوانه قلته ونا من ديره الخليفي حمد فخر شعبه وعزه وطانه من قوم حنالك وشد حزامك رجليه وخياله وهجانه افعالنا ما فيها حد يجهلها لا من قيل للتاريخ من فرسانة لا من حربنا عزتي لعدانا من قبل عهد الجيش والترسانة ولا من زبنا اللي ما عنده مزبن حنا عجب عينه وحن مزبانة تاريخ والتاريخ ما يجهلكم ما ينسى ولا تهد أركانة انتوا لنا مثل الفشق في المحزم لا ثار في يوم الوغى دخانة وحنا لكم على مدار الساعة أخوانكم لا خانة والخوانة حنا لكم وانتولنا من مبطي والكل منا شاهده جدانة هذه علومي كلها وعفاكم وعلم الوفا ما تنطفي نيرانه مدحتكم ونابكم متباهي والشعر فيكم تفتخر قيفانة واللي بيمدح صاملين الوقفة صح بدنه قبل صح لسانه وسلامتكم
تم رصد اسم المشتبه به واحد على رحلة رقم 333 تم رصد الهدف أثناء خروجه من خرطوم الطائرة جاري متابعته المشتبه به في قاعة السلام الأمتعة من سراب ثمانية إلى غرفة العمليات الهدف متحرك خارج الفندق متوجه إلى سيارة دوج اللون كحلي المشتبه واحد والمشتبه اثنين متحركين من الكافي شوب من غرفة العمليات إلى جميع الدوريات سيارة المشتبه بهم متواجدة في حي السفارات سلامة المشتبه به وجار متابعته من سراب ثلاثة إلى سراب سابع يرجو السلام الهدف سراب سابع سلامة الهدف وجار متابعته من سراب أربعة إلى غرفة العمليات المشتبه به رقم واحد دخل الفندق المشتبه به اثنين غادر الموقع من غرفة العمليات إلى سراب أربعة تبين أن الهدف مطلوب أمنيا يجب متابعته والقبض عليه فريق القبض تجاه الهدف من دوريات العمليات والشجاع تم استلام الهدف المشتبه به لا يستجيب للوقوف تعامل معه تم القبض على المشتبه رقم اثنين وسيتم اتخاذ الاجراءات اللازمه التحقيقات الاوليه كشفت وجود صور لحي السفارات من جهاز مخابره البحرين الى جهاز الاستخبارات الوطني في دوله الامارات سوف نرسل لكم التقرير الاستخباري رقم اثنين والذي يفيد بوجود نيه عمل عدائي على مصالحكم في المنطقه استلمت وننتظر منكم رئيسية إلى فجر وردت أخبارية من جهاز المخابرات الوطني تفيد بأنه يوجد تهديد على السفارة عزز الحراسة حسب الإجراءات المتبعة في هذه الحالات لقد تقرر إرسال قواتنا لمقاومة الإرهاب إلى مملكة البحرين في مهمة الاستعادة الخارجية وتنفيذ الخطة رقم سبعة على جميع قوات الاستعادة الخارجية التأهب للحركة بحمد الله وصول قوات الواجب الإماراتية إلى مملكة البحرين وجاري التأهب لأي عمل طارئ السفارة للرئيسية، السفارة للرئيسية، هجوم مسلح على السفارة، هجوم مسلح على السفارة. مركز الطوارئ. ألو الشرطة؟ في مسلحين داشين علينا، اسمع اطلاق نار. إلى جميع الدوريات الأمنية النجدة صقر رعد فيصل الإسعاف الوطني وردنا بلاغ يؤكد وجود عمل إرهابي بداخل السفارة وعليه يتم تأمين وتضويق الموقع بمسافة آمنة مصقر للرئيسية 
فريق اقتحام والتدخل السريع باتجاه الموقع من تدخل خامس الى الرئيسيه تم نشر قناصين في مواقعهم جاري التفاوض مع الارهابيين وكانت مطالبهم سحب دعوه الاتهام من مجلس الامن وتوفير وسيله نقل الى المطار وطائره انحرس واحد الى جميع القوات ساتحرك مع مجموعه المقدمه باتجاهكم من حرس اثنين الى حرس واحد قواتنا تستعد للحركه الى موقع الحدث يتم الان تحرك القوات الاماراتيه من قاعده عيسى الجويه الى موقع الحدث الارهابي من تدخل الأربعة إلى تدخل اثنين تم الآن تطويق جميع مداخل الحي الدبلوماسي بالكامل موجة الاقتحام الثانية تقوم وحدة العمليات الخاصة التابعة لوزارة الداخلية وقوة الاستجابة الخارجية الإماراتية بالتواجد وتأمين مبنى المطار ثالثا موجة الاقتحام الثالثة قيام وحدة العمليات الخاصة التابعة لوزارة الداخلية بتطهير مدرسة خولة الثانوية للبنات والمبالي المجاورة لها مرحلة التعافي بعد السيطرة على المباني بالكامل من قبل فرق الاقتحام سوف يعطى أمر من قبلي بتسليم الرهان والإرهابيين إلى فرق الفرز أمام مبنى السفارة بعد تفتيش الرهان والإرهابيين ومن ثم عزلهم سيتم انسحاب فرق الاقتحام من الموقع بالكامل وتسليمه إلى الجهات المختصة في وزارة الداخلية لتباشر عملها من خلال الإجراءات القانونية للنيابة العسكرية والتعاون مع الأدلة الجنائية عملية الإخلاء الطبي وتنفذها الكتيبة الطبية والإسعاف الوطني وفريق الجراحة الأمامي الإماراتي العمل عنده في حالة السماح للإرهابيين باستخدام وسائل المواصلات تقوم وحدة العمليات الخاصة التابع لوزارة الداخلية وقوة الاستجابة الخارجية الإماراتية بالتعامل مع الموقف مواجهة سيارة مفخخة عجل السيارة المفخخة وتركها لفريق المتفجرات المختص للتعامل معها موجة قوارب مفخخة مسيرة القيام بتدميرها من قبل الطائرة العمودية المقاتلة his Majesty the King expressed thanks to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his outstanding management of the exercise and for his efforts to develop the combat competencies of the Royal Guard, expressing appreciation to the PDF members and the efforts of all participating bodies that ensure the success of the exercise. His Majesty expressed his pleasure to welcome the UAE Armed Forces in Bahrain and their participation in the exercise based on the joint close historical relations and military action in defending both countries, which reflects the historical cohesion between the two countries in all situations and evidence of the solidarity of, uh, solidity of their positions and interdependence to confront terrorism in all its efforts or its forms and aid humanitarian relief. Ismashi added that the challenges facing the region today require unified ranks and readiness. The UAE president expressed pleasure in attending the exercise which demonstrated the skills and efficiency of the participants and the high training they provided, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect Bahrain and the UAE and their brotherly people, wishing them progress and prosperity. The participants took commemorative pictures with His Majesty the King and the UAE President on the occasion.
The forces of the joint Bahraini Emirati counter terrorism exercise in Mood 3 concluded their operations with efficiency and performance according to the realistic scenarios. The scenarios were determined by analysts surrounding risks and challenges to promote cooperation between Bahrain and the UAE through holding joint drills on counter terrorism crisis management and exchanging expertise. The success of the exercise was part of the good preparations in all its phases. The Supreme Committee held many coordination meetings to ensure the events competency and accuracy. The exercise aimed to strengthen military cooperation between the two sides by implementing joint exercises for all relevant national institutions and authorities. The drill also worked to unify the methods of the specialized units to ensure their ability to joint work in a professional manner and achieve maximum benefit from the capabilities and expertise available to both parties. Officers and other ranks from the Royal Guard, various units of the BDF, the Interior Ministry, the National Intelligence Agency, the UAE Presidency Guard, took part in the exercise. It was part of military and security cooperation and coordination between the two countries and one of many exercises held to evaluate readiness. For further joint exercises, National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and UAE Deputy Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces and General Engineer Isa bin Saif bin Blan Al Mazrouhi signed a memorandum of understanding on counterterrorism cooperation. And to speak more about the exercise, we have with us on the phone the former security strategist at Scotland Yard, UK, Mr. Roy Brumpy. Hello, Mr. Royal. Can you tell us about the benefits and exchange of experience through cooperation in the implementation of the Bahraini Emirati Joint Exercise in Mood 3? The, all joint operations are really important. They uh, make the uh, stability of the region far safer. They identify the strengths and weaknesses of uh, all everybody involved, and they build strong relationships, making it more effective uh, whenever there is a counter-terror incident uh, where you are going after people in the region. It tests the preparedness of everybody involved. Great. Former security strategist at Scotland Yard, UK, Mr. Roy Brumpy, thank you for joining us. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa following the success of the sixth edition of the Bahrain International Air Show, which adds to the series of accomplishments of the kingdom under the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness expressed pride in this noble achievement that was recorded thanks to the efforts of the people of Bahrain and thanks to the keenness and directness of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness added that this achievement of the BIAS since its inception is thanks to the support support of His Majesty the King, which witnesses large or which witnessed large international participation of companies in the aviation sector. His Royal Highness praised the efforts of BIAS, the high organizing committee led by the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, that made the event among the high profile international events that enhance the status of the kingdom globally. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a reply cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in which he thanked His Royal Highness for his congratulatory cable. His Majesty praised the efforts of the BIAS High Organizing Committee led by the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa and hailed the distinguished organization level of the event in preparing all facilities for participants which reflects the ability of the people of Bahrain to create outstanding achievements. His Majesty praised all efforts that contributed to the success of the event and maintained its good reputation since its inception and hailed the wide participation of international companies from the aviation sector, which reflects the high status of the Kingdom of Bahrain on the regional and international levels. His Majesty wished everyone success in hosting the upcoming BIAS. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from His Highness Head of the National Guard General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa. In his cable, His Highness the Head of the National Guard expressed congratulations and blessings on the occasion of the great success of the Bahrain International Air Show 2022 held at Sakhir Air Base under the patronage of His Majesty, praising the efforts, the provision, and follow up of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who was chairman of the Higher Organizing Committee for the Bahrain International Air Show. His Highness noted the public attendance 
attendance of this exhibition from various countries of the world which, with its distinguished organization, which had a great impact in, in displaying this international event in an honorable manner and positively contributed to highlighting Bahrain and its success over the past 10 years in this vital sector. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, in which he extended his sincere congratulations to His Majesty on the success of the Bahraini Emirati counterterrorism exercise, Jinmud 3. The Minister of the Interior praised the realistic planning of the exercise and the efficiency it showed in the field implementation within the framework of a joint tactical action with the forces of the United Arab Emirates. He stressed that these professional exercises represent the best op op opportunities to prepare the forces for field work in accordance with clear operational procedures and to build on integrating system of performance and planning and implementing based on his master's visions and enhancing security and stability. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from National Guard President General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the success of the Bahrain International Air Show 2022 that was held at Sakhir Air Base under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness praised the high turnout in the sixth edition of the BIAS 2022 of international companies from the aviation sector, which contributed to enhancing the status of the kingdom on the international level. He affirmed that the success of the event over the past 10 years is a recorded a record added to the series of achievements of the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from the Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa on the success of the joint Bahrain Emirati counterterrorism exercise in Jilmud 3. He praised the distinguished planning and preparation of the exercise, which enhanced the exchanging of experience systems between the two countries. He affirmed that the exercise showed professional abilities and combat readiness, which enhances the strategic performance to combat terrorism. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the wide participation in the local qualifying races for endurance organized by Brief and the second races of the new season 2022 2023. His Highness stressed that the wide turnout confirmed the successful march of the sport, which opened more horizons in the past period and contributed to making uh, the making of many international achievements in light of the great role played by local championships. His Highness explained that the participation of 151 riders from various local stables and presence and the presence of riders from outside of the kingdom confirms that the current season will be more exciting and competitive among everyone wishing the stables and jockey success in the upcoming races the Bahrain international endurance village hosted the 40 kilometer local qualifying race where the jockey Jabir Badr of the Al Zaim team led the race while the 80 kilometer race was led by the jockey Hamad Hilal Al Khatri at, at the Fursan team the Bahrain International Endurance Village will witness the organization of international races of 140 kilometers, 120 kilometers, and 100 kilometers, which are expected to be exciting and enthusiastic in light of the desire of the riders to climb on the podium and obtain the first titles of the season. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Naimi, congratulates His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the occasion of the outstanding results achieved by the Kingdom of Bahrain in the sixth edition of the Arab Reading Challenge, launched by the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. He stressed that this educational achievement is added to the series of achievements made during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. He praised His Majesty's continuous support for the educational process, which contributed to making this honorable achievement. He expressed appreciation for the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which constitutes an impetus for the advancement of the educational process. 
Transportation and Telecommunications Minister Mohammed bin Thamr Al Kabi signed two agreements in the field of air transport with the United Kingdom and the Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina, and one memorandum of understanding with the Republic of Cyprus at the Bahrain International Airport or air show. The present at the signing ceremony were Acting Undersecretary for Civil Aviation Affairs, Hussein Ahmed al shahil and Assistant Undersecretary for the Air Transport and Aviation Security and Safety, Ibtisam Mohammed al-Shamlan. Al-Kabi referred to the Kingdom of Bahrain's leading position in the field of civil aviation in the region and its commitment to developing frameworks of cooperation in the field of air transport between friendly countries, which reflects the unremitting efforts aimed at achieving further growth and development of the air transport sector in the Kingdom. The signing came on the sidelines of the 6th Bahrain International Air Show, hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain under the patronage of His Majesty the King at Sakhir Air Base during the period from the 9th till the 11th of November 2022. The Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications has contracted Indra Systems SA to enhance these surveillance systems at Bahrain International Airport with a state-of-the-art automatic dependent surveillance broadcast ADS-B system in the interest of safety and efficiency of air traffic services provided in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications expressed prior to announce that Bahrain Civil Aviation Affairs will, compl with, will complement the existing surveillance coverage at Bahrain International Airport with the latest technologies and systems which will contribute to the overall development of the air navigation services in the kingdom in line with ICAO regional and global air navigation plans to meet existing and future demands in the air navigation field. The new system will provide highly accurate aircraft positioning information to the air traffic controller in accordance with International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO standards and recommended practices. The ADSB system will increase airspace or capacity, reduce fuel consumption and further develop safety efficiency of Bahrain Flight Information Region, FIR, in addition to other improvements to air navigation services. The activities of the third and final day of the sixth edition of the Bahrain International Airshow 2022 continue amid enthusiastic atmosphere and an increasing demand for visitors and fans of the world of the aviation. The activities are accompanied by air shows of aircrafts in addition to allocating an entertainment area for families and folk groups that present musical performances as well as educational activities and various competitions in addition to the presence of a number of presentation or presentation offices, companies and supporting institutions. The event witnessed the participation of 100 86 companies and more than 200 civilian military delegations, in addition to discussion forums for thought leadership and knowledge exchange with the participation of senior experts, decision makers and specialized regional and international academics from the sectors of transportation, aviation and space. The Bahrain International Air Show 2022 has paved the way for bringing back the travel and aviation sector back in track as it was before the global pandemic. The show has seen great success in the first two days of the event that has brought together experts in the industry to look into challenges, solutions and exchange experiences. One of the participants was the Gulf Aviation Academy, where CEO Captain Bafar al-Abbasi expressed his pleasure to be part of this high-profile event. The significance, well, the Bahrain International Air Show has been long awaited and I believe it's time for it to come back and it's only uh, an indication for the aviation recovery. That's what we actually uh, see and business continuity uh, in the sector. For uh, GAA, it's a platform where we can actually uh, meet our stakeholders, uh, be able to, in person for a long time, meet together and uh, discuss what we can actually uh, do together, providing all our uh, products and new technology in, uh, in training. I believe the Bahrain International Air Show would be where the world would feel at home. The GAA played an important role in this event that brought together a large number of senior officials and guests that are interested in this field. Our presence uh, in the Bahrain International Air Show would be for reaffirming our position as a training provider in the aviation sector. And uh, GAA has always been supportive, uh, likewise, from the divisions and the government authorities and the stakeholders within Bahrain who has been also supportive to uh, GA in providing the training that is required for everybody in Bahrain and internationally. So uh, Gulf Aviation Academy is looking to provide what we have introduced 
into the market in the realms of training, like uh, 3D and virtual reality and integrated uh, reality. The Bahrain International Air Show comes to an end, marking another huge success for the aviation sector of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Bahrain International Air Show returns again this year, which adds to the series of achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain and affirms the strong status of the aviation sector for the Kingdom. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. Attending the 2022 Bahrain International Air Show, CEO of National Space Science Agency, Dr. Mohammed Ibrahim al Asiri, has highlighted the fact that on the sixth edition of the air show, the agency announced the first space forum, which would benefit the young and future generation space science studies. Today, in the sixth uh, version of the uh, Bahrain International uh, Air Show, uh, we were very honored to uh, announce the opening of the first space forum ever. Uh, to be conducted in Bahrain. And um, this space uh, forum was um, to discuss two major topics. The first one, how to engage uh, future generation and young generation as well in the space sector. And the other one will be uh, uh, going to discuss the importance of uh, how to um, uh, enhance the investment in the space sector and how to uh, um, encourage entrepreneurs to invest in the space sector. Uh, we shared experience for the Kingdom of Bahrain in this regards as well as uh, Egypt, United Arab Emirates and India. And based on that we came out with a um, uh, general idea about the importance of uh, setting uh, uh, new strategies where those strategies can uh, deal with uh, uh, what we call it uh, Generation Alpha and Generation Beta. We in Bahrain uh, believe that we already uh, started uh, implementing our strategy since 2019 and we came with um, some success stories that we shared with the, with the panel and the uh, audience of this forum. Uh, we are looking forward to improve our strategy because there are um, more uh, new learning lessons that can be adopted by, uh, by uh, the National Space Science Agency here in Bahrain. AIB, Aviation Investigation Bureau of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We are an independent office and we do independent reports and we write reports regarding accidents and incidents that will contain uh, recommendations for the uh, occurrences not to happen again. Our presence here is very important. There is a link always between the advanced technology and the aviation industry and the accident investigation. And we always like to be on the top of things. And you could see that by uh, 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 having the latest equipments and we have the latest uh, uh, equipment in our flight data recorder lab. This enabled us to download recorders and our mission is to be a leader in the region and nationwide. We are under the umbrella of the United Nations Office of Outer Space Affairs. We are uh, like placed by the invitation here to represent our agents, uh, our organization, for the first time in the air shelf for Bahrain. And uh, we are amazed here about the enthusiasm and the engagement of the people here about the future and how also to manipulate that and facilitate the opportunities for the new generations. And uh, also during the panel, which just happened now, it was uh, great to see the potential for Bahrain by the National Space Science agencies that how to enable uh, like the like the ecosystem and the environment to engage for the new generation and the young people uh, to like be engaged and also to have their own new startups here in Bahrain that can manipulate and facilitate the technology transfer and the components that we need uh, for space for space industry basically in, in Bahrain and for our region and it's also shared as a common uh, perspective for all the other Arab countries uh, like represented here for Egypt for uh, UAE and uh, also uh, just before the air show we had the Arab Space Cooperation Group and I was fascinated by the engagement and the, uh, like their hope to, f to share their expertise in the industry and how to become a bigger uh, player in the industry on a, an international level and uh, I, I believe that the new generation uh, will be uh, in, a, like, in a good position uh, in 10 years from now in our region to become uh, a, a very strong pr like player in the space industry, inshallah. We are a logistic company, uh, having uh, shipments by air, by sea. Uh, so this, uh, this uh, um, exhibition is very active for our field to get more 
stages of development for our sector. So we would like to it's a, it's a habit to visit this exhibition every year to take the development, to see the development, what happened in the, in the country and in the worldwide, so we can develop our skills in the business sector for the transportation and of airlines and car going shipments by air as well. So our participation and coming and visiting such a big event uh, in the GCC and the Middle East it have a good impact in the region. And today our participation here in uh, the Bahraini Air Show uh, by the UAE Space Agency is more to promote the UAE Space Program. And uh, we do preview a number of the deep space missions that has been achieved or uh, being worked on by the UAE Space Agency. And the first and foremost is uh, the UAE mission, uh, the UAE Mars mission, uh, specifically the Hope probe, which is orbiting around Mars. The day and has uh, completed nearly one year and eight months uh, orbiting Mars and providing uh, data on the Martian atmosphere being readily available and freely available as open source data to the scientific community. And also we all preview the mission to explore the asteroid belt, which comes on the footsteps of the Emirates Mars mission. Now, the aim, of course, is to launch the uh, mission by 2028, and we'll hopefully reach the seventh asteroid by 2033. So that's a five years uh, mission, or five years of operation after the launch. Mohammed Barashid Space Center. So they uh, work on the uh, UAE Lunar Program and will hopefully send a rover to, uh, to the moon by the end of this year. Uh, we also, of course, talk about the astronaut program. Bahrain Airport Company announced one of the world's largest and most important aviation conferences, Routes World, will take place in the Kingdom of Bahrain for the first time in 2024, which is expected to attract 2,500 officials. The announcement was held during a press conference on the sidelines of BIAS 2022, attended by the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Zayed Asiyani, Gulf Air CEO, Captain Walid Al Alawi, and Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority CEO, Dr. Nasser Qadi. Routes World 2020 will contribute to achieving Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 and will enhance the status of the kingdom on the international level. The Information Affairs Minister Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi hailed Bahrain's democratic strides led by his Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. More in this report. The electoral silence phase has started 24 hours before the beginning of the voting process in the parliamentary and municipal elections. The High Elections Monitoring Committee has announced the pre-elections procedure in line with the laws regulating the polls in the Kingdom of Bahrain. It called on candidates to stop all forms of electoral campaigning and through all means starting from today, 8 a.m., it urged voters to actively participate in the voting process to choose their parliamentary and municipal representatives tomorrow, November 12th, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. The Prime Minister's office announced the list of 15 successful candidates for the 8th intake of the Prime Minister Fellowship Program. The Director General of the Prime Minister's office, Ahmed Al Mahmid, extended his congratulations to the successful candidates, wishing them success on their one-year assignment. He highlighted the program's importance in reflecting His Royal Highness's forward-looking vision, which focuses on investing in Bahraini citizens. Al Mahmid noted that the program provides an opportunity in bolstering the skill sets of young public sector professionals who will play an important role in contributing to the kingdom's ongoing developments. He emphasized that the program continues to be developed to accommodate current and future development needs, ensuring that young leaders across the government continue to efficiently deliver the best services to citizens. Mm -hmm.